Hello and welcome to Fractal Model 21.12, the last Fractal Model for this year. We are really excited about the updates. We have three updates for you and they're going to be really useful for an RFP that's coming up with Georgia Power and then very useful for tax equity purposes and helping you to size tax equity deals. So let's get started. And a quick note before we jump in, the Fractal Model is compatible with Macs. I am running the new MacBook Pro Max. So as long as you download the Edge browser, you can use all the features for 21.12 and beyond. And as a quick reminder, all of the previous tabs are still in here. The dashboard uh, very, looks very similar. You have your inputs tab where you can put in your CapEx, OpEx, and some of your different types of funding. Of course, your system design pages here. This is where you specify your physics. Battery degradation still here, and it has several different chemistries and it has ability to input cost over different time periods. Generation, as always, you put in your wind or your solar profiles. Your applications page is where you essentially tell the model how it's going to make money and how the physics behave along with that cash flow. Your dispatch tab is where you can put in your seasonal type of schedule. Now, there's another way to use the fractal model where you could put in timestamp by timestamp. We'll get to that in a bit. But this is useful for about 90% of the analysis we do. Of course, we have the cash flow. And now with the updated fractal model, we have a more advanced cash flow where you can put in equity, tax equity, and different levels of debt. Uh, so as you scroll through this, you'll be able to see that you can enter partnership returns. Uh, you'll take a look at how those returns can be optimized. Uh, you can also solve for partnership uh, returns. So all here, uh, about 800 line items. For those of you who already have a very robust financial model, no problem. I would say though that this can get you 99, up to 99.9% .9 of the same number. Uh, but of course, it'll be very quick. It'll be included in the fractal model. And then you can polish it off as your last step by entering it into your financial model instead of having to go back and forth. The second big update involves a new smoothing function uh, and you access it through the optimizer. So you're gonna click to access the optimizer and then now the optimizer has different modes. So the second mode being smoothing, you'll click on it. And after about a minute, it'll bring you to this page. And on this page, you wanna make sure you bring up your control panel. So go to your home screen, click on the icon so that you can bring up your fractal model calculator. I've already logged in uh, and you will go to your optimizer. So what you want to do is hit the get schedule. And then after that, you'll hit your dispatch. And with the data that's already in there, uh, it's just a random PV installation, but it does have very high resolution data as minute by minute data. Now you can see that for the smoothing functionality for the Georgia Power RFP, that you can very quickly do that analysis. Uh, what we're showing here is that if you see on this SOC graph, uh, quite a few times we're bottoming out at 10% SOC. And then just once we get close to the 90% SOC. If we change this up a little bit, if we allow this go from zero SOC to 100% SOC instead of just 10 to 90, we run this again. And now you can see that we're still bottoming out, but maybe not as much. Notice that the solar only is already at 92.7% on its conformance with the ramp rate and that with storage, it's at 98.5. Let's see what happens when we double the size of the storage. There we have it. The new compliance is 99.5. So feel free to come in, load up your own data source for irradiance, and you can quickly be able to do the calculations for the Georgia Power RFP.
The third and final update to the fractal model is also for Georgia Power is to do their firming function. So once again, you'll go to the calculation mode, you'll choose optimizer, click OK. And then in the optimizer mode, you'll choose firming. And after about a minute, you'll hit the firming page. Once again, it's important to open up your fractal pane. So go to your home ribbon, click on the fractal icon. Now you can, with the preloaded data, and of course you can change up the data set as you please, uh, but what we'll do is we'll go to the optimizer tab, we'll hit get schedule. That'll help us to understand how the solar plus storage interacts, and then you can dispatch it. Now that we've dispatched, you can see on this project that solar by itself was about 82.4% compliant. But with solar plus storage on this four hour battery, and it's a pretty small battery, we are 98.8% .8 compliant. And this is with a very particular forecast, and then of course a very particular real world data set. So your results may vary a little bit. It's just really gonna depend on how good your forecasting is. It's gonna depend on sizing. Uh, so you'll have to run quite a few models to make sure you get optimized. All right, well, those are the three updates for Fractal Model 21.12. We wish you a happy new year. Let us know if you have any questions and we are happy to demo the product for you. Thank you.